Is everyone ready? Let's get ready for chemistry! A lot of people confuse stoichiometry with dimensional analysis. It's like the way a square is a rectangle, but a rectangle is not a square. Dimensional analysis is simply canceling units. Stoichiometry is specifically the multimole ratio. So if you have an equation, you can balance the equation, no problem. What do these numbers mean? These numbers mean something very specific. You can talk about the ratio of moles of H3PO4 to moles of CaOH2. The ratio here is 2 to 3. That means for every 2 moles of phosphoric acid you use, you'll need to also use 3 moles of calcium hydroxide. It is also true that the ratio of phosphoric acid to water is 2 to 6, or 1 to 3 if you rather. But I prefer to bring the numbers down directly from the balanced equation. So you can write any kind of ratio you want. You could write the ratio of water to calcium hydroxide. You can write the ratio of calcium phosphate to water. Now water's coefficient is 6. And you might be tempted to think that calcium phosphate's coefficient is zero because it doesn't have one. But that's not true. Calcium phosphate's coefficient is actually one. So the ratio of calcium phosphate to water is one to six. That's stoichiometry right there. That's all there is to it. So what would this look like as a problem? Let's say that you had 0.56 moles of phosphoric acid and you wanted to know how many moles of calcium hydroxide you would need to use. You would say 0 0.56 moles of H3PO4 and then remember that when you're doing dimensional analysis what you want to cancel goes on the bottom so moles of H3PO4 go on the bottom and then what you want goes on top so moles of calcium hydroxide goes on top. And the ratio of calcium hydroxide to phosphoric acid is 3 to 2. So 0 0.56 times 3 divided by 2 is 0 0.84 moles of calcium hydroxide. So 0 0.84 moles of calcium hydroxide is equivalent to 0 0.56 moles of phosphoric acid. We could do it again, and we could find out, perhaps if we started with 0 0.32 moles of calcium hydroxide, how much water would we make? We would say 0 0.32 moles of calcium hydroxide to start with, and then what you're starting with goes on the bottom, calcium hydroxide, and what you're looking for goes on top, water. And then the ratio is 6 to 3. So 0 0.32 times 2 is 0 0.64 moles of water. So that's all stoichiometry is. That's, that's it. It's just using the mole to mole ratio to convert one type of molecule into another from the balanced coefficient. And you can go from any one to anything else. Is everyone ready? Let's get ready for chemistry! Ah! <laughs>